Bacensile nabo silikhwale lihle ligcwele tibunge ekhatsi ngoba ayikhona. Akuti bunge afiwa kunayo move. Hayi. Futhi do. This video is not a smear campaign against VW. I just want you guys to know what challenges people are facing out there with the facelifted polos. I know some people will think ah this Morena is just beat up because he bought a 2022 Polo GTI and it started giving him problems within 60 days but that's not the case. I'm cool with VW and I think I can still buy a VW again. However, I'm a bit concerned with the new Polos. Since I posted the video about the problems on our GTI, more people are reaching out to me to share their challenges with their newly purchased facelifted Polos. It seems like VW technicians are unable to diagnose and fix these new Polo models. For a car that's built or assembled here in SA, it doesn't make sense for dealerships to take two months to get your car sorted when you have issues with it. So I urge owners of the facelifted Polo models to share their experience in the comment section, whether good or bad. Please just share your experience with us. Here's some of the issues other owners shared with me. There's two more viewers who also shared their issues, but I can't find their comments in the channel because there's quite a lot of comments to go through. We don't deny the Polo is a great mid-size hatchback, but these issues are really concerning. Yes, glitches are expected on new cars, but it is more frustrating when technicians can't even diagnose the problems and just use a finder-finder -finder approach to sort out the cars. The saddest part is that some dealerships are giving customers unpleasant service and use delay tactics to buy themselves some time and that's even more frustrating especially if you are a first time car buyer and you don't have a clue of how things work in the car industry. Earlier this year I reached out to VWSA to lend us a Polo Life for a test drive review and here's what they said to me. Your request comes at a time when we had to downscale the price fleet due to vehicle availability. For this reason, we have decided to focus on a set list of publications or individuals whom we feel will offer the best opportunity in reaching our PR and communication objectives. Given the vehicle restrictions or capacity of our fleet, we have to constrict our test placement in order to effectively manage the placement and service to our media. Should our position change in future and Volkswagen is able to accommodate you, we will be in touch with you. I guess their PR and communication objective is being dishonest and misleading people, but as Pumela because I don't need them anymore. 
and I can't wait to have 1 million subscribers so they can come running to me trying to advertise their overpriced defective hatchbacks and I'll tell them no now I deal with certain brands or individuals but in future if things change I'll be in touch with you